What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black, S T E V Double E, the Black. I'm back. I know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. Practically almost two months, right? I kind of get into this mode after football season's over, you know, where I just kind of step away. And I know I'm supposed to be covering the Sixers, but Sixers, you know. When it's time for the playoffs, I'll be back for the Sixers, right? But, honestly, I was just waiting. I was waiting for something, you know, to bring me back. You know, there was news here and there. A couple things here, a couple things there. But, nothing that was, like, worth me talking about recovering. And then... The news dropped about an hour ago. Russell Wilson gets traded to the Denver Broncos. Now, it's not official yet because he has to get a physical and he has to approve the deal. But he had the no trade clause. And if he's and if the news broke, then it's more likely than not that he approved it. You know, maybe he did. I don't know. Maybe there's that slim chance. But. Seahawks don't accept a deal like that unless they're like, yo, you going to what? You know? And so obviously, for me, I'm just I'm just heartbroken, you know, because now we're stuck in a situation where there's no clear cut answer. And I don't like it when there is no clear cut answer. Because now that means Jalen Hurts is going to be the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles next season. And Howie Roseman has said it more than once. No, Jalen Hurts is the guy. Jalen Hurts is the guy. And I don't even know if he attempted to go get Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers or any of these guys. I don't know. But why should I believe Howie Roseman when he says, oh, Jalen Hurts is the guy. Jalen Hurts is our guy. Why should I believe him? Why? I guess I got no choice now. <sighs> Heartbroken. Heartbroken is the word that comes to mind. Because I could so clearly see the Super Bowl, right? Like, it's there for the taking. The only two obstacles were L.A. and Green Bay. That's it. That is it. Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford. Those were your only two obstacles. Yeah, 49ers were in the mix, but they don't have a quarterback. Dak and them, they're a good team, but eh, you, you know their history. There were only two teams, two teams in the way of reaching that goal of just getting back to the Super Bowl and then winning it. That's a whole other discussion, but I thought we had a good chance with Russell Wilson. My initial thought was, man, this defense better be great. This defense better terrorize people. This defense better be the best in the league. Right? That was my, Jonathan Gannon better be the boy genius that everyone swears up and down that he is. Right? Oh, well, at least we can, at least, well, then at least we can keep the three first round picks. At least we can make the defense better. That was my initial thought, right? But then I thought about it, and I said, well, if having the best defense is so important, let's ask Buffalo if having the best defense is important. Because all they had to do was hold Patrick Mahomes for 13 seconds. All you had to do was hold him for 13 seconds, and they couldn't do that. Yeah, sure, it's Patrick Mahomes, it's Tyreek Hill, it's Travis Kelsey, but we're talking about 13 seconds. 13 seconds 
ask Buffalo if having the best defense in the league is worth it. Because it's the defense in the end that let them down. Right? Oh, the offense. At least they were putting up points, right? Yeah, they were putting up points. They were going blow for blow. But the defense, oh, that, that serves the argument, right? Oh, see, we need defense. Really? Again, 13 seconds. That's all you had to do. 13 seconds. Ask the Dallas Cowboys. Defense who led the NFL on third down stops. A defense that led the inner league in takeaways. Ask them if it's worth it. Because when they needed to make a stop, they couldn't do it. They lost to Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Oh, that's another argument, right? Oh, well, as long as the team is good enough, then the quarterback, you know, well, that's how we won our Super Bowl. We won our Super Bowl with Nick Foles. Nick Foles isn't that great of a guy. Isn't that great of a quarterback. Look at the team that we had surrounded. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't last very long. That doesn't last very long, okay? And it'll only take you so far. And it took him to the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but it wasn't enough. He couldn't make the throw. It got him to the NFC Championship game last year, but it wasn't enough. He couldn't make the he couldn't do what he needed to do down the stretch. He had a 10-point lead going into the fourth quarter and he couldn't do anything. So ask Dallas, ask the 49ers if it's worth it. Ask the Pittsburgh Steelers who were leading the league in the number 1 run defense and the number one team in sacks. Ask them if it's worth it. They didn't have a quarterback. They had a Hall of Famer, but he was no longer a quarterback. He was done. He just retired. So ask them if it's worth it. This league is an offensive league. Defense doesn't matter anymore. What you need your defense to do is to make a stop when you need it the most, a.k.a. the Los Angeles Rams. They were like the 15th big defense. They were average defense all year long. But when they needed to make stops, they made them. They made them. What made the 2017 Eagles defense, you saw Tom Brady put up 505 yards on us in the Super Bowl. But we got the stop when we needed to make the stop. Brandon Graham with the strip sack. How about the game before that in the championship game when we got the interception that changed the momentum in the game? How about the game before that when the Eagles were taking on the Falcons and they disrupted Matt Ryan long enough that he couldn't make it to Julio Jones in the end zone? Not once, but twice. So tell me, as long as your defense can make the plays when they need to make it, your, your number one goal should be to upgrade the offense, to upgrade it, to make it better. Again, I don't know if they didn't make a temp or not. I do not know. That has not been reported yet. I haven't seen anything. All we know is that he's going to Denver. What does Denver have that we don't have? What? What? I mean, what? I My offer was a first round this year, a first round next year. I think it was like a third round pick. You can get Jalen Hurts and you can get Andre Dillard. Like, they need offensive linemen. Drew Locke isn't better than Jalen Hurts. Like, here, here you got two first round picks and a third. Heck, you want to throw in a second round pick? Throw in a second round pick. There you go. Tell me, that's not is that any better than what the what the Seahawks just got from the Broncos? <sighs> Jalen Hurts is the most frustrating quarterback I can think of because you look at the potential that he could be but it's just like I, I, I remember seeing this somewhere where it said the Eagles are going to have the most difficult decision in the NFL because Jalen Hurts isn't going to be trash enough that you're like oh we clearly got to upgrade but he isn't going to be good enough 
to where you're like, oh, that's definitely the guy. He'll be somewhere in the middle where it's like, dad, well, what do we do? He could get better or he could stay the same and we could just be worse. All off season, it was, well, the Eagles are going to stick with Jalen Hurts, but I think it's a clear, but if there's a clear and obvious upgrade, they're going to do it. Like, they're going to do it. Like, there was your clear and obvious answer right there. My, my, I don't know how you get better than the option, than the trade, than, than the details of the trade that I just gave you. Like, <sighs> that ruined the last hour of, at work for me, bro. Because now I'm sitting here thinking, bro, now we're stuck with Jalen Hurts, bro. And again, Jalen Hurts is, he, again, he's so frustrated because it's like, he better, he better be Jesus, bro. He better be Jesus. He better turn water into wine. That's all I know. He better turn water into wine. He better make the most incredible leap. His arm better look like, like, oh my gosh, where did this come from? You can upgrade the defense all you want. You can go get Marcus Williams, I think his name is, the safety. You can go get Nicole uh, Dean, uh, Nicole Dean, I think his name is, a linebacker. You can go do that. You can go get a new defensive tackle. You can go get a new edge rusher. You can do. You can go get another cornerback opposite to play opposite of Slay. You can do all you want. But at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, this is an offensive league. You can hold teams to 20 points or less all you want. But if you can't put up points, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you don't have that dude under center, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Part of me hopes that Jalen Hurts proves me wrong, but I don't want to take that chance. I, I honestly really don't. Some people are already like, all right, go get DK Metcalf. You know, if you can't improve the quarterback, at least improve the things around the quarterback so you can be like, so it'll be like another Nick Foles situation where, oh, he'll look good, but you know, it's, it's really just because of the pieces around him. I mean, look, if you can go get DK Metcalf, sure. DK, Devontae, Quez, Dallas, like, that's a, that's a, that's good, right? That's good. Like, that's that's good. But if I can't, if my quarterback can't get DK the ball, what's the point? Hmm? <sighs> Russ. Denver, Russ. Denver, what does Denver have that Philly doesn't? Maybe I'm, cause my my memory serves me correctly. We went to Denver and and thrashed them. We thrashed them. Well, let me not thrash them, but we beat them. Okay, we beat them. Ran the ball all over them. He had those two touchdown passes for Devonte Smith. Jalen Hurts was looking pretty decent. It would have been even worse if uh, Quez Watkins hadn't dropped that touchdown pass. You making it harder on yourself by going to play in the NFC West or AFC West. You making it harder on yourself. Got to go play Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert and Derek Carr twice a year. You want, I mean, hey, I know the whole Ric Flair to beat a man, you got to beat the man. But sometimes you got to do the smart thing and be like, hey, when it's time to face him, I'll face him. Be smarter, bro. Be smarter. Go through the very winnable NFC 
and then have to deal with Patrick Mahomes or whoever comes out the AFC, man. Why would you do that? I'm done. I'm done. But though, man, that's ruined ruined my whole day, man. Ruined my whole day. I'm back now. Oh, I'm back. Because I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm out. I'm done. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. How y'all feel about this? Y'all cool with this? Y'all cool with Jalen Hurts still being the guy? Still being here? I know y'all don't want Deshaun Watson. That's a whole other thing. All right, man, I got to go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please remember to like this video, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never hit the video, so you never miss the video. Because like I said, now I'm back now. Oh, I'm back now. Until next time, and if you're not down with that, I just got two words for you. Peace out. Ain't no fly, Eagles fly. It's peace out today. I'm done now, for real, for real. I'm done. All right, bye. Peace.